In anthropology and geography, a cultural region, cultural sphere, cultural area or culture area refers to a geography with one relatively homogeneous human activity or complex of activities culture. These are often associated with an ethnolinguistic group and the territory it inhabits. Specific cultures often do not limit their geographic coverage to the borders of a nation-state, or to smaller subdivisions of a state. Cultural «spheres of influence» may also overlap or form concentric structures of macrocultures encompassing smaller local cultures. Different boundaries may also be drawn depending on the particular aspect of interest, such as religion and folklore versus dress and architecture versus language. Cultural areas are not considered equivalent to culturecrees culture circles. History of concept A culture area is a concept in cultural anthropology in which a geographic region and time sequence age area is characterized by substantially uniform environment and culture. The concept of culture areas was originated by museum curators and ethnologists during the late 1800s as means of arranging exhibits. Clark Whistler and Alfred Krober further developed the concept on the premise that they represent long-standing cultural divisions. The concept is criticized by some, who argue that the basis for classification is arbitrary. But other researchers disagree and the organization of human communities into cultural areas remains a common practice throughout the social sciences. The definition of culture areas is enjoying a resurgence of practical and theoretical interest as social scientists conduct more research on processes of cultural globalization. Types A formal culture region is an area inhabited by people who have one or more cultural traits in common, such as language, religion, or system of livelihood. It is an area relatively homogeneous with regard to one or more cultural traits. The geographer who identifies a formal culture region must locate cultural borders. Because cultures overlap and mix, such boundaries are rarely sharp even if only one cultural trait is mapped and so there are cultural border zones, rather than lines. The zones broaden with each additional cultural trait that is considered because no two traits have the same spatial distribution. As a result, instead of having clear borders, formal culture regions reveal a center or core, where the defining traits are all present. Away from the central core, the characteristics weaken and disappear. Thus, many formal culture regions display a core periphery. In contrast to the abstract cultural homogeneity of a formal culture region, a functional culture region may not be culturally homogeneous, instead, it is an area that has been organized to function politically, socially, or economically as one unit, a city, an independent state, a precinct, a church diocese or parish, a trade area or a farm. Functional culture regions have nodes or central points where the functions are coordinated and directed, such as city halls, national capitals, precinct voting places, parish churches, factories, and banks. In that sense, functional regions also possess a core periphery configuration, in common with formal culture regions. Many functional regions have clearly defined borders that include all land under the jurisdiction of a particular urban government that is clearly delineated on a regional map by a line distinguishing between one jurisdiction and another. Vernacular, popular or perceptual cultural regions are those perceived to exist by their inhabitants, as is evident by the widespread acceptance and use of a distinctive regional name. 
Some vernacular regions are based on physical environmental features, others find their basis in economic, political or historical characteristics. Vernacular regions, like most culture regions, generally lack sharp borders, and the inhabitants of any given area may claim residence in more than one such region. It grows out of people's sense of belonging and identification with a particular region. An American example is, "...Dixie". They often lack the organization necessary for functional regions although they may be centered on a single urban node. They frequently do not display the cultural homogeneity that characterizes formal regions. Alan Noble gave a summary of the concept development of cultural regions using the terms, "...cultural hearth", no origin of this term given, "...cultural core", by Donald W. Meinig for Mormon Culture published in 1970 and, "...source area", by Fred Niffen 1965 and later Henry Glassy 1968 for house and barn types. Outside of a core area he quoted Mining's use of the terms, "...domain", a dominant area and "...sphere", area influenced but not dominant. <laughs> <laughs> Cultural boundary A cultural boundary also cultural border in ethnology is a geographical boundary between two identifiable ethnic or ethnolinguistic cultures. A language border is necessarily also a cultural border, as language is a significant part of a society's culture L, but it can also divide subgroups of the same ethnolinguistic group along more subtle criteria, such as the Brunig NAPF Rus line in German-speaking Switzerland, the Weyerstaquader in Germany or the Grote Reveren boundary between Dutch and Flemish culture. In the history of Europe, the major cultural boundaries are found in Western Europe between Latin Europe, where the legacy of the Roman Empire remained dominant, and Germanic Europe, where it was significantly syncretized with Germanic culture. In the Balkans, the Gyrocek line, dividing the area of dominant Latin Western Roman Empire from that of dominant Greek Eastern Roman Empire influence, macro cultures on a continental scale are also referred to as worlds, spheres, or civilizations, such as the Muslim world. In a modern context, a cultural boundary can also be a division between subcultures or classes within a given society, such as blue collar versus white collar, etc. See also isogloss. Topic: <laughs> Role in conflict. Cultural boundaries sometimes define the difference between friend and foe in political and military conflicts. Ethnic nationalism and pan-nationalism sometimes seek to unify all native speakers of a particular language, who are conceived of as a coherent ethnic group or nation, into a single nation-state with a unified culture. The association of an ethnolinguistic group with a nation-state may be written into nationality laws and repatriation laws, which establish eligibility for citizenship based on ethnicity, rather than place of birth. In other cases, attempts have been made to divide countries based on cultural boundaries by secession or partition. For example, the Quebec sovereignty movement seeks to separate French-speaking province from English-speaking Canada to preserve its unique language and culture, and the partition of India created separate majority Hindu and majority Muslim countries. Examples <laughs> 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 East-West dichotomy, the Western civilization and Western world contrasting with the Orient and Eastern world. 
North-South Divide – The North-South Divide is broadly considered a socio-economic and political divide. Geographic Americas see also Americas terminology Caribbean Central America Mesoamerica North America Northern America South America British Isles Eastern World Far East Middle East Near East Indian subcontinent Maghreb Southeast Asia Mainland Southeast Asia and Indochina Maritime Southeast Asia Turkestan based on language or language families Arab world, Arab-speaking world, and Arab diaspora Celts and Celtic Europe English-speaking world Anglophone Finnic peoples Francophonie see also Francophrique German language in Europe Germanic speaking Europe Hindi belt Hindi Urdu region Hispanidad Hispanophone Indigenous peoples of the Americas Indigenous peoples of South America Indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest Coast Native Americans in the United States Latin America French America Hispanic America Ibero-America Lusophone Mainland Southeast Asia Linguistic Area Latin Europe Cinephone Slavic Europe based on cultures Anglosphere East Asian Cultural Sphere Sinosphere. Greater China Greater India and Indosphere Greater Iran Greater Persia Greater Middle East Lusosphere Nordic countries speaking North Germanic languages based on religious beliefs Arab world Islam by country Buddhism by country Christendom Christian world Christianity by country Hinduism by country Islamic state Islamic republic Islamic monarchy Muslim world Topic Music A music area is a cultural area defined according to musical activity. It may or may not conflict with the cultural areas assigned to a given region. The world may be divided into three large music areas, each containing a «cultivated» or classical musics, that are obviously its most complex musical forms with, nearby, folk styles which interact with the cultivated, and, on the perimeter, primitive styles Europe and Sub-Saharan Africa Based on shared isometric materials, diatonic scales, and polyphony based on parallel thirds, fourths, and fifths would usually use the natural major scale and minor scale, and Dorian, Lydian and Mixolydian modes. North Africa, Southwest Asia, Central Asia, South Asia, Indonesia and parts of Southern Europe Based on shared small intervals in scales, melodies, and polyphony Would usually use the harmonic minor scale and the Phrygian scale. American Indian, East Asia, Northern Siberian, and Finno-Ugric music Based on shared large steps in pentatonic and tetratonic scales, however, he then adds that, "...the worldwide development of music must have been a unified process in which all peoples participated," and that one finds similar tunes and traits in puzzlingly isolated or separated locations throughout the world. Topic. See also 
Classification of Indigenous Peoples of the Americas List of music areas in the United States Sprockbund Julian Stewart Regionalism politics, Bioregionalism Cultural landscape Deep map Cultural tourism Continent World language